guys, my name is Debbie and we are here again uh, to present to you another reading from Messages from Beyond. Uh, if you are interested in your own private reading with this, uh, please email me at dubdoesreadings at gmail.com. Somebody's here, I can feel them already. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they just confirmed that. Uh, and wait a minute, uh, yeah, so if you're interested, it's $30 on video. I also offer one in email style. Uh, it's down in the description box if interested. Just email me at debdoesreadings at gmail.com if interested. So let's get into it here. This is a general. Somebody is definitely, definitely here. I feel their instant energy there. Oh, yeah, they're confirming it. They're right here for anybody who would like to know. Sorry, I'm just. This is a mother figure, without a doubt, without a doubt. They feel they got some healing to do, the one that passed. Um, has some healing to do. There's a lot of guilt feeling. I don't know if this is a sudden, I'm not feeling sudden death. I I'm feeling, okay, I got, I got you. I'm feeling that this is definitely a mother figure with the empress here looking at the tower. I, I feel like this is a long time death, but I'm feeling that the suddenness, what I'm picking up here is, I had so much more to do. I had so, this was a, a, a mom figure that is a busybody. You know, she liked to stay active here. Uh, she had kids, you know, uh, she, uh, young kids. Okay. This is a mother that, um, passed, uh, decently young. I just heard 40. So in her forties. Okay. That is young. That's not decently. That's, that is young. Uh, but I, 42. I just heard 42. So in the 40-ish, okay, range here for sure. But it's kind of like she needs some healing because she feels like she feels bad because uh, she still had more things to do. She feels like the father figure, like she threw everything at the dad. Uh, this is for um, a gentleman out there that lost his wife, okay? I'm just saying. Uh, boy, did I look stern there when I said that. I didn't mean to do that. I gave the mom a look. Uh, but definitely I feel that there's something out there with the uh, the dad out there that lost his wife. I apologize. I'm so sorry. I, I feel that she feels uh, responsible. This is weird energy here. Usually spirits cross over. There's no guilt. There's no pain. There's, But there is some kind of energy in regards to her feeling bad that there's more that needs to be taken place here. That, that I was not ready to go yet. I feel responsible for leaving him in, in the, the home life here with the kids and everything. I had more to do here. This is going to take my husband a long time to get adjusted, a long time to figure out how to plan ahead, how to... <coughs> Somebody made used to excuse me. Somebody used to make peanut uh, not peanut butter, bologna and cheese sandwiches or just bologna sandwiches. Somebody used to put ketchup on their bologna. My dad used to do that. That's funny. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Somebody used to put bologna, bologna and ketchup. It's kind of like, oh my God, my husband doesn't even know that our one kid has peanut has. Why do I keep saying peanut butter? Has ketchup on their bologna sandwich or the one kid doesn't know that or the the dad doesn't realize that when he makes back his lunches up for school this coming year that you know uh this kid likes this meal only you know kind of thing it's a restricted menu or whatever whether they have bad allergies or what i'm pretty sure the dad would know about bad allergies but it's like a preference of food that the kid certain likes you know uh like she worries about that this mom is very concerned and worried that, A, I feel that she kind of feels bad that her passing meant that everything was dumped on the husband here. And that she's worried that he won't catch on. He won't catch on. I keep hearing it. It's like panic. He will catch on. Don't worry. Uh, but yeah, but I mean, there's a lot, you know, he's going to, the, the dad, 
you, okay, if you were resonating with and you are the dad here, the husband of this mother figure that passed away, you got it. You know, you may be a little stuck. You may need that quiet time, you know, that that special time of alone, you know, to kind of figure everything out. But you got it. You know, the emperor is a, you know, you guys were twins. You had a very strong connection. Obviously, this is a twin flame energy, too, going on with the empress and the emperor here. Uh, but I definitely feel that she's more worried about the dad. She keeps calling him the dad. She, you're not even the husband. You're the dad. You know, she's worried about her kids and so the dad handling everything. Wow. Oh, she's so sweet. I just want to oh, give her a hug. Everything's going to be okay. She just feels responsible for leaving everything in his hands. But he, he can handle it. Six of Cups. Yeah, there's those kids. Wow. She feels responsible for leaving her children behind. She feels like, yeah, there's a lot of confusion. Ooh, that energy just got stronger. Woo. Uh, seven of Cups. That's just confirmation right there when they get that feisty with the... I felt this cold br breeze. Yeah, it's still here. Very, very strong. So... <laughs> She's funny. I keep hearing her say, say it say it <laughs> like I'm preaching over here uh but definitely like she's giving me a list like don't forget this is for the dad the husband that she keeps calling the dad <laughs> just the husband to her don't forget to you know they like this you know the kids the certain kids like this I feel uh, th I'm feeling like around three kids I don't know what it is it could be four I feel like a there might be a very very light baby energy like a lighter energy of a child here that she left behind, but, um, but it wasn't intentional. I do feel that it was like, for some, this is half and half. For some, it was a quick, sudden death. For others, it was a long death that just basically quickly happened. You know what I mean? It was like, I don't know, this is very specific, but I feel it's kind of like, um, like she, she had like a cancer and then it, it it went into remission and then it suddenly came out of nowhere and it was in like uh what is it stage four or whatever it's been a while since you know my mom had cancer as well but but it just came on suddenly and there was nothing to do and then it came to an end you know uh it was like it was so fast with that like and totally unexpected like it wasn't in the plan wasn't in the cards for her you know uh, of uh, of this happening that fast it wasn't in her eyes it wasn't supposed to happen she wasn't ready she wasn't prepared to go kind of thing and she feels responsible for to th throwing everything <laughs> she's making me laugh everything uh to the dad she keeps calling you dad uh but yeah uh but definitely i know that the husband out there if you're listening uh can definitely uh, relate to this for sure. It's resonating for you, but I, I also feel very confident you showing up as the emperor, okay, that you got it covered, but just know that the wife, the wife is very, very, uh, concerned that you can't handle it all because I feel that she was like the ringleader. You know, she's very much like a, I always, I always refer to my mom. She was, you know, she clipped coupons. She went food stores. She kept house. She was a really good mom. She, did everything with us. She was everything. And that's what I'm feeling that this woman is, you know, your wife here. But she is very, very concerned about the kids because there was more and more that needs to be done here. Yeah, definitely acted quickly when she knew that she, uh, she was under the assumption that she had that extended stay here on earth. And that was from her, her extended stay here on earth. And then it went bad. It just suddenly went bad, you know, out of nowhere. I hope he's okay. Now she, okay, so she's redirecting the energy. I hope he's okay. She worries about you too. You do talk to her. She is worried about you as well. It's not all about the kids. Don't worry. You're fine, too. She does think about you. You still have that connection. Emperors and, you know, emperor and empress here. So definitely is still a strong connection. I feel like you uh, try to the husband here, the dad. <laughs> uh, I love it how she calls you the dad. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I feel that you, um, 
you know, you try to tell her it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Like, I don't know if you can, because twins can pick up on each other's energies, you know, past or not. I mean, like, really, you really can. <clears throat> and I feel that, sorry. And I feel that you're kind of, you, you can feel her energy of being nervous. Like, and I, like, you know, worried you still, you know. Uh, but I feel that you reassure her everything's going to be okay. But there's definitely children here. Absolutely. You're going to take charge. You know, you're not going to get overwhelmed with uh, this, the, the, the husband. I have to stop saying dad. The husband here. You're going to be okay. You're going to plow away at it, you know. Meaning taking care of things. You're going to be receiving some kind of messages, repeat messages. Uh, she's very persistent to keeping in touch, you know, uh, with you, I feel. And you will hear her on multiple, multiple two pages looking at that Queen of Wands. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> she, she just said, he better listen to what I say and he better do what as I say. <laughs> Whoever is resonating with this, God love her. <laughs> She's funny. Uh, I feel like you, uh, while while on this earth with her, uh, you had a the the husband had a big huge honey do list. Now, do you feel that you were the breadwinner? Obviously, uh, but she was more the stay at home mom, and she did choose the wonder mom. You know, uh, I call them uh, June Cleavers, which is you know it's cool. I love I love June Cleaver uh, energy. I want to be a June Cleaver cleaver you know again and my kids are all pretty much grown uh and i miss those days but definitely i feel like you you like reassure her uh of the mind i'm fine it's good we're good with money we're i'm still i'm still cranking it i'm still doing it you know don't worry about things i got it honey like you two still have this communication this could definitely be in the future too uh if you haven't already experienced this but definitely feel that she's still demanding <laughs> She, she's funny she could be fire sign as well but she's still barking out those orders like a honey-do list thing now i do feel that you were very handy the husband okay was very handy around the house you were a good dad i see softball i i see that you took them softball games you could have coached as well i feel but you were very active when you could you were good with your business you know uh, and work. You stayed active with that and kept busy with that as well. You were an excellent dad here. She has confidence, but she has, she's very, very attached still to those children. And, and, and she's, she is funny. And you're like going to be in the future, I feel like, um, saying it's okay. I got it. You know, I, I'm fine. You see my smile on my face. Everything is good. Oh, yeah, well, you know, I'm still watching, buddy. <laughs> That's what it feels like to me. You know, she's just making sure, you know. You ever hear the term mother hen? That's what she is. She's a mother hen. She takes care of her, uh, chick. you know, her little chickadees, you know. She loves you. You guys had such a great personality combination together. Uh, she teases you, you know. But her heart is in the right place. She's just worried about the kids. She's worried about you, if you can handle everything. <laughs> what, what an amazing spread this is. This one made me happy. No tears today. No tears. Uh, but definitely very positive uh, energy for sure. But she's a busybody. She's still uh, the way that she was here on Earth. She's still the way over there. Let me tell you, her energy is high. You know, very active here. Make sure you protect them. I do feel that um, that's an interesting energy. I just heard don't let anybody bully our children. Hmm. She could have been a Libra uh, as well. I am picking that up. But I do feel that she's still going to be uh, keeping on top of things on the other side with your life. Just to let you know. So, what a cute energy. Wow. I wish there was more in regards to, like, love. She loves you, but she's very, very uh, worried about her kids and throwing everything uh, in your direction now, you know? 
and just worried that you can take care of it because she was the queen bee of the mama home, you know? And uh, it's hard to give that up, you know? And it's hard to, uh, not that she didn't trust you, you know, but you did your thing with work and providing for the family and you hung out with the kids and you did sporting events and you partaked in that. But as a mama hen, you know, it's really, really hard to make sure that there's something about bologna again, that one of your kids loves bologna. And if you give him ham, so help you God. <laughs> it's kind of like that. Like the kid loves bologna. Uh, this is a very strange reading, I got to say. But she is very protective of her children, you know? And But it's out of the kindness of her heart and her love. And she's still very protective of them. She will watch them from above and talk to them and really protect them. But I, I worry that she wants you to know that, you know, she's sorry that of, of giving you all the responsibility now of the family, of the home, of the taking care of the kids, of everything, even though I know that you have this, you know. Uh, you just need your moment to rethink things and work things out in your head here to figure out a plan to uh, strategize, okay, and, and, and do it, you know, and just have that determination. But just know that she does love you here for sure. But um, her, her passing was definitely, uh, for some I do feel it was naturally, there's multiple uh, situations I'm feeling for whomever this is meant for. One was really, really unexpected fast, okay? Uh, I feel in car accident for some odd reason for somebody, not everybody, <clears throat> but I, excuse me, but I do feel for one very in particular, it's like I know this person, <laughs> like I know the dad already, uh, but yeah, uh, dipping into his life really here a lot, but yeah, and the other one was more so, uh, you know, it was a long battle, she was in the clear and then out of nowhere finding out that uh, it was like last stage. It just popped up out of nowhere kind of thing. And it and it, and it was just sudden after that. It was really, it's, it's sad energy actually. But she didn't like that. She didn't like that. She didn't like that surprise. She didn't like how it made her feel. She didn't like how uh, everything was dumped onto you. You know, uh, not dumped, you know what I mean? But all the responsibilities were on you now. Uh, the dad here, she's calling you dad again. Uh, but definitely, you know, it happened so fast when she thought that she had longer to live and that she was in the clear. And then it all of a sudden just hit this uh, to bad, total bad, you know. I mean, right here says everything was good and then crap, you know, devil. You know, everything went bad, you know, things unstable, you know, and it just happened so fast. And uh, I feel that she does communicate. She will keep on top of things. There's no doubt there. Uh, but yeah, she's going to keep on top of it. If you keep hearing and feeling and seeing signs and messages and banging on walls or, <coughs> excuse me, however she wants to do that, she's going to let you know. I feel very, I, I, I did feel air as a protective mother still, but I do feel very fire. <laughs> I feel fire with this one for sure. I want to say Sag. I do feel Sagittarius here, but it does not have to be, but very, uh, yeah, they just said my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law is a Sagittarius and, uh, well, she's also Dutch German. That could be it too, but, um, but yeah, oh, Dutch, gotta love Dutch Germans, you know, but definitely the minute she says something, she means it and it's, and she can't hold it in. She just says it, you know, so this is her type. Okay. And believe me, there's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, she has a point and she is going to make it known to you. <laughs> Just letting you know that, believe me. I still have my mother-in-law, so I still get that. And I'm a widow. <laughs> so just keep that in mind that you are going to re be receiving some kind of energy for sure. And keeping uh, noted energy by her with messages here. Keep going kind of thing. But just reassure her. You can communicate to her through your mind. Okay. Or you can verbally talk. That's actually in my new book too. Uh, and this book too, putting back the pieces if interested. It's, it's for widows, you know, to help deal with the loss. But anyway, um, that was not a plug. I'm sorry. But I'm just saying that that's, I have talked about this before in both books now, uh, but definitely reassure her, put a smile on your face <laughs> when you're saying it. And she's going to, you you know, just know that when you're smiling, say, everything's fine, honey. Uh, sh just know that she's uh, telepathically telling you it's okay, but I'm still going to watch you anyway. <laughs> 
to make sure. Love her energy. Full of life. You know, she's living the good life over there. But she is watching you and the kids big time uh, from the other side and keeping an eye on everything. Absolute beautiful energy. I just love her. She made me laugh the entire time. But what a personality. <laughs> She's great. I hope that this helps. And uh, my condolences for whoever is uh, resonating with this, whether it was recent or if it was in the past. But regardless, uh, she's a little firecracker, definitely. And she is still with you and the kids. God love you. Hope this helps. Thank you very much. And I'll talk to you soon, guys. Bye.